Welcome to Gaia. For the next hour or so, I will be your tour guide to the resplendent inner being that is your planet. Listen to those words. This is your planet. You have the great privilege of being incarnate here. Gaia has lent you a beautiful body, a rainbow robe of glittering secrets and sparkling jewels. She's gifted you a finite number of days and nights here to explore her many dimensions and realms. What you do with this precious time is all up to you. You have ultimate freedom to explore whichever realms you wish. And you are hers. You also belong to her, as a baby belongs always to its mother. And even when the child is grown and gone out into the busy world, she remains always in her mother's thoughts and in her heart and at all times is ready to receive you back into her warm, welcoming lap. Take comfort then for a few moments. Take comfort from Gaia, our mother. Our mother. For we are many her children. She gives birth to us and then she invites us into our freedom. So rest here in her arms and feel the safety of her embrace. Place your head in her soft lap and feel her tender hands caressing your sweet head. Of her many dimensions and folds of reality, today we journey through the animal kingdoms. For everywhere, Gaia has littered her sacred truths. In every speck of dust even, a truth lies hidden. Take a moment then to imagine Gaia our Earth from space. This blue-green globe shimmering in the immensity of space-time. Like an undiscovered crystal deep in an unseen cavern. And see the gentle turning. The soft sliding of day into night. Night into day. Winter giving birth to spring. Spring to summer. Summer to autumn. Autumn again to winter. And see the greater cycles of time set by the orbiting planets, the stars and galaxies. All in its own beautiful orchestration. And so we begin by diving down into Gaia. And we begin with the continent of South America, land of deserts, jungles, mountains, land of riches and secrets. Feel yourself flying over the great Andes mountains, snow-capped peaks of immeasurable beauty. 
and feel your outstretched wings, huge and black, as you glide and ride the thermals, your eyes seeing everything in the landscape below. I am Condor, legendary Thunderbird of the South. What message do you hold for us as you saw the inner skies? Hear my words silently in your heart. I am Condor, master of the winds. In this world of change, I am the awakening. All beings find me in time, beyond time. You must learn to pause. Pauses are the stepping stones of awakening. A pause can be a deep sigh. A pause can be a soft smile. A pause is time out of samsara. I am the thunderbird. Ride on my back and I will carry you to the stars of your greatest aspirations. Let your aspirations be the thermals that lift you higher and deeper into your own centre. and feel the softness of my feathers. These feathers are the strings of your heart. The greater the challenges our mother sets you, the softer you must become. Understand that grace is orchestrating every single aspect of your life. Understand that wherever you turn, there, is grace, and grace must be listened to deeply. Where is their pain? Listen to that pain, lean towards that pain. Let it fill you. Do not flinch, rather soften into this pain. Our mother only leads you towards herself. The great mystery of awakening is so often misconceived in your human world. It is not some far away event limited only to the extremes. It is as close as heartbeat, as simple as essence. This then is my lesson for you. Be gentle with yourself until there is no push left inside you. And on we travel, flying north now into Central America land of jungles, pyramids, ancient civilizations, and down we drop, falling down into the jungle, deep now on the forest floor. Allow yourself to shapeshift. Now you have four great paws. All around you is filled with a kaleidoscope of scents, colors, and perfumes layered in exquisite harmonies, echoed by the texture of shape and color of leaf and tree and plant. And sound, a landscape of sounds, tiny feet, rustles, chirps, and tweets and shouts, all layered and merged into color, scent, shape, and tone and you alive in its midst, moving, sleek, each sinew tuned in perfect symmetry with the whole. You are Jaguar, 
guide to generations of shamans, revered as a god for millennia, mystical, magical, great jungle lord. Hear my words silently in your heart. I am Jaguar. Unstop the plug of your imagination. Our mother is a map of the entire cosmos. There is magic beyond your wildest dreams in the inner realms. If you can dream it, it already is. I am no fantasy. I am the fertile power of the high imagination. To grasp the truth with your intuitive mind, to trust above all things in the wild intelligence of your heart. Bring your extra senses online. There is a world behind your world, a land of magic and symbol and pristine awareness. Let each footfall you place on the earth be sacred. Let each movement be a prayer. Let diversity thrum and thrive within you. No path is to be replicated. No path can be wrong. All paths through the jungle appear as you walk. So trust. Trust in your innermost dream not as literal representations of your destiny, but as stepping stones towards unity. As you travel this life, so our mother, in her great compassion, sends us many trials, and move then to merge with them. There is nothing outside us. All is within. All is imagination. Only the presence remains. This is my teaching. Trust the intelligence of your body. Trust in your imagination. Onwards we travel, northwards, ever northwards, following the line of the pole star, to the great continent of North America and Canada. And we feel ourselves now shrinking, shrinking down into the ground, into a world of crevices, of leaf matter, of hiding and waiting of scurrying, of sniffing, of waiting. Silently we move, secretly we listen. Everywhere are we. In cities, in houses, in woods, gardens, fields and hills, we hide. We are the listeners. Great appear these cultures, modern and powerful and busy and important. Great creatures live here, the eagle, the bear, the wolf, the mountain lion. But instead, I come. I come because I am needed now. So listen carefully and hear my words within your heart. I am mouse. All around the world you will find me, in every nation, home and place. Above all, I know the secrets of all peoples. Beneath your floors, within your walls, my people listen. We know all your secrets. We hear all your arguments, your innermost fears, and your highest dreams. 
we come to tell you there is nothing to hide because we are empathy. We are the bridge between all cultures. All our suffering is the same. Whether rich or poor, dark-skinned or white, we all suffer the same. And we all have the same love beneath the pain. Our mother says, trust your suffering. Gently share it so it can be heard and felt and transformed and then move to create a new path from it. It is not enough to complain. We must create, create, create. You may think you're just one voice, tiny and unheard, but you are many, many, and sometimes the quietest voice roars the loudest. Know that those you judge are also in deep trauma. Speak then from that place of empathy, not from anger. Speak with passion, act with vigor, but not with fingers of blame. Empathy opens all doors. Blame only tightens them. Listen to your own pain. Let it come. It is the transformation. And roar your love as only a mouse can roar. On we travel, heading west now into the northern oceans, down into the icy waters of the Arctic. Who will we find here, down in these deep turquoise depths? Someone special. A keeper of world wisdom, the owl of the deeps a creature close to the mother herself, an ancient ancestor from another plane, a planetary guardian, soul of the ocean, mother of the world. I am whale. Hear my words silently in your heart. A bell tolls in the silence of space-time. I sound this bell. Our people surround your land from all sides, in all oceans. Although diverse, we are one. We weave a web of wisdom holding the memory of the great epochs of past worlds, past universes even. We are the womb beings. We live within every human. We are the deep feminine within. How deeply will you listen to our bell? You are water. We are water. Gaia is water. Water holds memory. Water is geometry. Every thought and word you sound in space creates geometry. Come now and let us breathe together seven great breaths and let each breath harmonize with our heart and with the heart of the earth. Let all my people, all whales, come together in your heart. Slow, slow down. Wait, wait. Seven breaths, wait. Begin now. 
Let each breath be a bell. Let each breath be a work of art. Let each breath be a beautiful geometry. Vibrating through the air. Surrounding Gaia. Penetrating all peoples. Penetrating all cultures, all beings. Let every cell of every human pulse with the perfection of this geometry. Feel humanity pulsing as one. Feel the whales surrounding you. Dream a moment. Hang there. Feeling the peacefulness of the pod mind. The dream heart. This is who you are. This is what is coming for you and for all of us. And on we travel to the continent known as Europe across the great ocean. Many cultures compressed together, ideas, beliefs, histories, a melting pot, alchemical cauldron. We move among you. From the beginning, we have been here for you. We even have allowed you to tame our wildness so we could come closer to you, to remind you of a single great, obvious truth. Friendship. I am Dog. Hear my words silently in your heart. 
we too are found in all cultures. We come to show you the power of unconditional love. And that when you love something or someone and treat them with respect, then one day they will be transformed. Our mother wishes above all else for all her children to be friends. This takes great forgiveness, great devotion. This begins always in our families. If we cannot forgive those closest to us, what chance have all of us, any of us? Before you try and heal the outer world, therefore, heal first your families. Forgive those who have wronged you, they too were wronged. Someone must break the chain of blame. Someone must be the pattern breaker among you. Let it be you. Mother tells us that the greatest quality of humans of all is their friendliness. This alone, she says, will heal all divisions, all past trauma. To take in a stranger and help them learn trust once again. In the times that are coming, you will each be asked to do this. As your dog greets you with wagging tail, you too may greet your fellow brothers and sisters in pain and loss, and each family will be healed until one day all are family. And on we go to the great continent of Africa. Land of so many awesome creatures and beings. Land of the majestic lion, the patient elephant, resilient rhino. And here, out on the open savanna, one creature, unique among us all, with a special gift. An inner gift that all humans also have. Each of us contains a secret teaching, as you will see. But I alone can see the future. And I come to show you a glimpse of our common future. Take a deep breath and hear my words spoken silently in your heart. For I am giraffe. Over the tops of trees I see. Far, far ahead I see. Within you there is an undeveloped organ, an eye, a third eye, that sees and remembers both past and future. This is no conjuring trick. This is no fantastical dream. This is a great truth known by many human ancestors and those who live close to the earth to our mother. See for a moment through this eye. We are stepping towards the edge of a great abyss. All know this. Many fear this and do not wish to look. With my eye, I see all the way out into the beyond, so I know what is coming. Mother is gathering you back to her breast. A great reckoning is coming. The civilization you have built can no longer sustain itself. It will crack 
and fall apart. This will occur gradually, but also suddenly, just as the contractions of birth come closer and closer together. I see pain and trauma and death, but there is already pain and trauma and death. This will be different. This will be a purging and it will touch all humans. It will equalize humanity. I live in the land where the current human race began. Now a new land will emerge and a new race to live in it. One race. The intensity of the upheaval will bring about deep biological changes in the underlying architecture of all life. Undeveloped organs will awaken, reawaken within you. In time, you will realize your unity as an actual biological knowing, not just a conceptual frame. As I look ahead, I see things that are so far from our current world. Many of you would not even believe such things are possible. What I will say is that a simpler life will emerge once again. A life lived once again closer to the earth in harmony with my people. We are moving towards a time of us, away from you and me and them. The time of we is coming. This is what I see. I am the camel. I am one of the guardians of the deserts and the beautiful lands of the Middle East. Long have I been a symbol and a crutch for humanity. And yet how few of you understand my deepest gift that I bring. It is a gift many do not wish to hear. Regardless, listen to my words spoken silently in your heart. I am camel. I carry a sacred word, a word you may not wish to hear. The word is sacrifice. Some of you flinch, I know. Many try and squirm away, believing this is an old paradigm. It is not. Gaia is a planet of sacrifice, holy sacrifice. In our beautiful cosmos, everything passes from the lesser to the greater through the portal of sacrifice. You must surrender your judgment, your self-importance, your fear, your trauma even, before you make the great transition into the next world that Giraffe has spoken of. How can you take your old ways with you into this next new world? Many are the secrets you have not yet remembered in your journey. Primary among these is the illusion of your death and the truth of your constant rebirth. Long have I traveled and carried you across the deserts of your many lives. Each life you learn and then again you sacrifice 
and then you return once again to learn. And gradually, more and more of your memory and your love stays with you in each life. This is the meaning of my camel's hump. Like your DNA, it stores the collected memory of all your lives. The more you remember the past, the more you remember the future. And thus your fear of death subsides. This is how it goes. I bring great news. The transformation of the trauma of your personal and collective past. Great news. And so we journey onwards, onwards, ever onwards towards India. cradle of spirituality for so many eons, for our mother's secrets have always slept within your bodies, down there, curled and coiled at the base of your spine. The very seed of our transcendence that you carry for all of us. So I come to remind you of this search that in seeking, you will bring this sacred seed to fruition. Listen to my words, spoken silently in your heart. Feared or revered by all cultures for so long. And yet why? Why is my name alone associated with your fall? I, too, carry a message for all humanity. I am Snake. Universal Kundalini. Unstoppable evolutionary current wrapped around the tree of life. Hidden within all forms, shaping myself to all forms, the movement of galaxies, the patterns, the helix of life itself, DNA. I am the program of the divine. Rather than fear me, embrace me inside yourself. Your fear is nothing but a forgetting. Slough it off as I shake off my old skin. For you, you are eternal. The forms may change, but the beating heart, the will of the whole, of our mother, our father, that alone lives forever. So follow your quest, dare to go within, dare to be divine, dare for all the creatures of the earth, you alone, humanity, are the steward of Gaia. You alone can bring us together as one. We journey to the Orient, to China, to Asia, to Japan. And once again, we find ourselves in flight, high, high above the clouds, among a flock of beautiful birds, cranes, sacred birds of the East. Why do we attribute certain traits to certain creatures? How is it that our intuition knows such things? I am the crane. Long and high do my people fly. 
We of all birds touch the heavens. What will you learn from us? Listen to our words spoken silently in your heart. We are crane. Wonderful life we live. We scale the heights, yet love the earth, the ground. We love to laugh and dance, and we mate for life. You too, you humans are here to see the best in each other. Not to compromise your own heart but to live an authentic life, a noble life, loving your desires, but not trapped by your desires. We bring the touch of perfection to the world. Can you bring perfection to your inner being? Can you live a simpler life without always longing for more and more and more? We cranes are known for our long lives. You will one day live vast long lives. With such a view of time passing more slowly, you will need less from the world, less from others. Your needs will diminish. All that you need, you will find within. So begin now. Give yourself more time. Cease your addictive meddling and live more simply. Live an aesthetic life, a respectful life, a reverent life. Live a beautiful and long life. Onwards we fly, northwards now, up over the great Himalaya, to the vastness of Russia and Siberia. And here we find another great bird, perhaps the king of all birds the eagle living out wild along the lonely steppes, coveted and admired among all creatures. I am eagle. Listen to my words spoken silently in your heart. I am the eagle. I bring closure to humanity. Just as the condor began our journey, so I shall bring it almost to an end. As condor awakens you, so I shall place the crown upon your head. For your destiny is great, the greatest of all. You hold our future in your palms. You are greater even than I. I bow to you, humanity. I am here with all creatures to serve you. I serve you with this truth. Can an eagle be humble? Only once. Only before you. Therefore, I invite you, on behalf of all creatures, join with us, join with us all. The flyers, the creepers, wanderers, dancers, singers, hunters, swimmers, hummers, all mother's children. And you are our big brothers and sisters. Join with us to create a harmony of truth. Stand firm in your truth. Like the eagle, do not be deterred or distracted, but claim truth for us all. Do whatever you must in the world 
but join together for the sake of all. And so almost we have come to the end of our journey. Just two more messages remain from Mother. The penultimate, the last but one. Always at the end, there is a joke. There must be humor. There must be humanity. So we dive down into the jungles and the forests of Indonesia, land of glittering islands and gems. And can you hear the laughter? It echoes round the jungles and the forests of the world. It echoes and peals within all humans, within all creatures, even amidst the sadness, the suffering, the ache, it is the laughter of the eons. I am monkey. Listen to my words spoken silently in your heart. There is nothing to add to your life. There is no need to do anything. All is done by the whole. Don't you see the joke? Even your doing, even your passion to save the world is not done by you. It's all done by her. She is behind all. She is between your thoughts. She is in your heart. She is there when you weep, there when you fear. She is there when you suffer in anguish. She is there when you dance, when you sing, when you hope and when you dream. All is done by her. So even though you may think it is you doing all this, it isn't, it's her. This is my joke. This is the punchline. This is what I stand for. You may consider you are more evolved than us, than any of us, but we are all within each other. Every lesson is within you. Do you get the joke? There's nothing you cannot do. And there is nothing you can do. Oh, your mind will have fun with this one. So just laugh. Laugh with me, laugh with us all, and let our belly laugh together, shake the whole world awake. One last flight, one last swim, one last journey. And down we must fly, eastwards, to the Pacific, to the Antipodes, to the vast and blue Australasia, Pacific Ocean. I am the last, so listen carefully to my words spoken silently in your heart. I am turtle. I am the world turtle. I carry the world upon my back. My shell is made up of 13 intersecting plates. These are the 13 messages you have heard today. All creatures and beings on our mother's back are interconnected. This is the final and most important message from us all. When you are young, you like to listen to stories about animals. But when you become older, you tend to put away such things. For thousands of generations, your ancestors have sat around the fires on mother's back, 
telling their children the stories of the earth and her creatures. Listen to our stories again. Listen to your ancestors and to those who live closer to the earth. Unless you live connected to nature, how will you ever find peace in your hearts, in your societies? You are the children, mother's blessed children. Sit quietly then in her lap and listen to her beautiful stories held by her creatures, her plants, her stones, her rivers, her oceans, her mountains and plains. And when change comes, which it is coming now to our world, be at peace within yourself. Come into nature, listen to her messages. She alone will keep you safe for when the plates on my back begin to shift and quake, great fear will arise in your people. But you need not be afraid, for Mother knows all. She moves through us, beneath us, within us, always bringing balance, always bringing compassion, even when she brings us trials. So rest on my back, rest on Gaia's back. Trust in the cells of your body, trust in all the cells of the earth. Trust each other, all will be well and all is well. This is our final message to you all. And so we bring our story here to a gentle close. Though stories never really end, but lead only to newer stories. Let us end then where we began, gazing at Gaia from deep space. This beautiful blue-green globe hanging in the immensity of space-time. And then pan out even further and further until she gets smaller and smaller, until she's just a speck, a mote of dust among the stars and galaxies, and go so far out that you even encompass the entire universe, a woven web of space and time. And listen one more time to my words spoken silently in your heart. I am the spider. I weave all worlds into one. Vast and beyond your understanding am I. Every strand in your universe is connected through time and space. Nothing is separate. Every galaxy is a cell in my web. Every black hole a center that leads to another universe, another web. This world is infinite. I am the weaver of worlds. I now give this role to you, humanity. Go out now. Be weavers yourselves. Go, my children, and play in the fields of the Lord. To you I give this gift. And I know you will find your way with it and take your place as the universal human, the sacred human, Homo Sanctus. Such a time to live in. So be at peace and know above all that love is at the heart of every stitch in the fabric of my web. 
Love is all. Love is all. Love is all.